I know my name is she can cook, but today we're gonna bake. And it's not what you think, not your average cake. And no, I ain't gonna stumble and I'm not gonna joke. Cause when you taste the double crumble, your way ain't no joke. <laughs> Get out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, She Can Cook. Now, today we're gonna be making something super easy and super delicious. As you may have heard in the you know the intro we're going to be making lemon zested apple crumble and trust me this recipe always goes down like a treat in my house I mean you have apples you have crumble you have a lot of crumble with the way I make it and I mean what could be better than that so like I said today we're going to be making lemon zested apple crumble super easy super quick let's go okay so all we're going to need is two tins of sliced apples. Now, I want this to be as quick and as easy as possible. So you can use fresh apples if you like, but today's gonna be a bit of a kitchen hack episode where we're gonna be using just simple sliced apples, tin sliced apples. So we're gonna be using two tins. We're also gonna be using one teaspoon of vanilla essence, or I've got my mixed essence, but you can use vanilla essence. One teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and to that, we're also going to add 200 grams of brown demerara sugar. Now, you can use any sugar you like for the apple base, but I prefer to use a demerara sugar. So I'm using 200 grams of brown demerara sugar. Now, for the actual crumble itself, we're gonna be using 250 grams of butter, 150 grams of demerara sugar, and for this, I would recommend demerara, just because it will give it that nice crunch that you want in a crumble. 300 grams of plain flour or all-purpose flour, and to make it the lemon zested apple crumble, we're going to be using the zest of one whole lemon. And that's it. So let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our apples into our pot. And we're going to actually cook this for a little bit on the stove. mix this in just allow the apples to kind of break down slightly just for maybe a minute okay so now I'm just going to add in our sugar Overpowering, but you can definitely taste that it's there. I'm just going to leave this to simmer for about five minutes. Now, the thing is, I would say actually, is um, if you start to see that the apple, if they if it gets very watery like this, like my one's quite watery. Um, what you can do, which is what I'm going to do now actually, is add in a little bit of cornstarch and that's just going to make it thicken up nice and perfectly for the upper crumble base. I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to get my cornstarch. Okay, now I'm just going to add some of the cornstarch just to help it thicken slightly. I'm just going to add maybe half a tablespoon. If I need more, I'll add more afterwards. And don't worry, I'm going to put all the ingredients in the description below, as I always do. Now, whilst that's kind of just simmering, we're going to make our crumble. Okay, so now for the crumble, what we're going to do is first we'll add in our flour. And 
then we're going to add in our sugar. Now you can put less sugar if you like, but um, in my household we have a bit of a sweet tooth. So I'm just going to, so we have, you know, this amount of sugar. But yeah, um, let's mix it. Just a little bit. And just spoon. But we're really going to make sure your hands are clean for this because we're going to be using our hands to mix. Now I'm going to be using roughly one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then we're going to crumble in our butter. Now, this is where we're going to need to use our hands. Just going to put the butter in there. And what you want to do is you want to kind of just, you want to break up the butter with the flour. You want to have this kind of motion with your hands. That's all crumbled. I'm just gonna actually just rinse my hands off and then I'm gonna zest in the lemon. <laughs> Clean hands now. Now I'm just going to zest in the lemon. So I've just got a grater here. I'm just gonna grater in the lemon. I've just grated that in and all I'm going to do is mix together just make sure you get in all of that lemon zest and trust me the lemon zest really makes a difference like ugh, it comes out so nice as you heard in my, in my you know intro this apple combo ain't no joke okay <laughs> okay now that crumbles all ready I'm just going to add it to our pot First thing I'm going to do is add in our apple. around me and on my fingers. This is now ready for the oven. Just gonna pop it in the, so I'm gonna pop it into the oven for um, about 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees. And you'll see on top it should be kind of slightly golden brown and you know it's ready. Let's go. Okay, so now this has been in the oven for half an hour. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the nice kind of golden bits on top, a little bit of clumps. It's honestly perfect. And Trust me, you can smell the lemon zest so strong. It smells so good. Um, yeah, now what's left? The most important part, the taste test. So let's go. I forgot to say as well, usually every year my nan makes apple crumble. She makes like 15 kind of tubs of these just because we have a, an apple tree and, um, and so she uses our fresh apples, but they're not quite ready yet. So I cheat for this one. So let's, yeah, let's, let's get to it. I always cut so much, even though it's just a taste test, but it's the greedy part, the greedy person in there. Hmm. It's really hot. <laughs> I think I bit my tongue, but mm, it's really good. I want to have another bite. It's so hot. Let me taste the crumble again. Mm. Trust me, guys. This is so good. You guys saw how easy that was. Easy, 
delicious. Please make sure you try it. If you like this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications for a new video every Tuesday. So, I'm gonna see you guys in the next week's video, but for now, I think I'm gonna to have to go and get some ice, because I think I've my tongue, and then come back and finish this up a crumble. Bye guys, see you.